given the choice whether to rule a corrupt and failing empire or to challenge the fates for another throw, a better throw against one's destiny. What was a king to do? Does one ever truly have a choice? One can only match, move by move, the machinations of fate, and thus defy the tyrannous stars. So I returned to the sanctuary of my enemy, the fortress of the Sarafan Brotherhood, deemed impossible for any man to penetrate. <laughs> impossible for any man. Deep within these walls my prey awaited. Mobius the Time Streamer, deceiver and eternal gamester, using living beings as his pawns. In the end, we'd rooted out an entire nest of the fiends. But we had swept that area already. Not well enough, but no matter. We purged every last one of that brood with fire where their souls now rest. Lord Mobius will be pleased. It was time for Mobius to answer a few questions. I hoped for his sake to find him in a forthcoming mood. Now at last, the masks had fallen away. The strings of the puppets had become visible and the hands of the prime mover exposed. Most ironic of all, was the last gift that Raziel had given me. More powerful than the sword that now held his soul, more acute even than the vision his sacrifice had accorded me. The first bitter taste of that terrible illusion. Hope.